So like this was the main reason for my like whole trip to America was to just come here and like pick this up because with the importation and everything it just was like way too expensive to get home. Having this extra string I've got the ability to go between doing like more traditional banjo style licks. <laughs> string I had added on it I've like it's quite a low sound and it's great because it's given me like so much more and that means if I want to play it and make it sound more like an electric guitar I can now I was like born and raised in Essex in England, the east of England. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful place full of some very rare characters that you'll never meet anywhere else on the planet. Grew up skating there. I started skating when I was about seven. Later on moved to Colchester and that's kind of where I feel like I really truly grew up. At that point in life when I was like a teenager, I, I, I kind of just grew up watching the people around me skate and basically just copying them and trying my best to like imitate what I thought looked cool. Didn't have any access to videos or anything like that. And we were quite, I wasn't from a very like well-off family. So like the idea of getting like a skate movie or something like that seemed quite far-fetched. Pretty fanboying right now because it's um the dude that was the dad in Malcolm in the Middle and the main character of Breaking Bad's like childhood pool, which is actually kind of mental. So yeah, I'm pretty fucking stoked to be here. And it looks like a fun pool, but I'm a bit scared of it. Antisocial tree. It's like, Don't touch me. Doesn't want anyone anywhere near it. 
Your cameras get bigger and bigger every time I see you, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's, he's getting one. in. He's getting in the he's getting the bug. Yeah. I don't think he's like too worried about what the next day is gonna bring. You know, if he's if he's got his skateboard, food on his table and his friends, I think he's happy. Kinda like going with the flow of like wherever the wind sort of blows him. Get him on a mini ramp and it, it's like fascinating to see how many tricks come out that most people haven't thought about or are doing, you know? And it's always fun and, and sort of loose looking, you know? It's like he's got very sort of graceful, loose style. It seems like he can stay on any trick. Like it doesn't really matter how he, what situation he gets into. He just like is able to stay on something. skate park when I was young was like just like the dead hang or like the dead man rock which is just like take your one off but it's, it's funny because it's like it's, it's only gnarly if you do it on something big you just have to be confident in hanging up but yeah if it goes wrong on the coming you will just die that's why yeah that's why it's called the dead man I learned my way to conduct myself and my way of life from so many of my friends so much different bits of their knowledge and like wisdom that really helped me find my own path. I think skateboarding is really good for that. It's like an access key to like the whole world. If you play it right, you can go almost anywhere and be able to connect with people in different places. And I don't think the world has much other things that can offer that sort of freedom. I feel like I lucked out a lot on many of my adventures, like turning up to places with just like a one-way ticket. Sometimes it's okay to be uncomfortable in a situation where you're sleeping on like cold concrete for a night, having like a shit night sleep is sometimes I think quite good just for your own brain. If that's the price you have to pay for doing what you want to do, then like, fuck it, seems worth it to me. Yes. <laughs>